On this week's episode of Philomena.com, I am introducing you to some of Liberia's most talented artists from all over the country. A lot of people on my blog have been asking me to feature different artists in and around Liberia, and in this episode, you'll really get to see the talent that we have here in Liberia, and you're gonna love it. in Monrovia and I followed you on Facebook that's how I found you and was so impressed by your work so thank you for having me here today uh, so tell tell the viewers your full name your artist name what you go by <laughs> well um, I'm Brahma and Waloba so no one and one that when I'm signing my work I just signed with you Waloba you how would you ex uh, explain your style oh well first I think to uh, I have to love realism. Okay. Oh, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love realism. But then, certain time came, and then I started doing abstract painting. Okay. Um, but then, abstract is nice, but I know it just don't want to stick to it because I couldn't really feel, feel So you feel more connected to realism type yeah, of thing? Yeah. So, so something like, this is this one of your pieces? Yeah. So this would be considered a realist, a realism piece, right? Yeah, it, it is, but it has lots of people Okay. It has some some realism in it, but also abstract So I I still try to blend abstract ideas. Two concepts and, together. Okay. But then the story behind this particular uh, this particular cinnamon, the quite killer bean. Now most kids, most kids, most kids that are, um, that are very high headed and the family cannot afford to buy them and every day so they choose to the buy the buy them this okay. capacity. They carry like six, seven months. Okay. Right. It's so yeah. it's good wear and tear. Yeah, so so I did this kid and then and then um I want to portray the fact that children that are born in the in the poor home they go through a lot of difficulties. Alright? Even though they go through a lot of difficulties they still have time to play. Right. You know, they, are, they are always on, on a lunar path. Uh, painter here in Liberia. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Edward Blackie, a librarian artist. Okay, so when did you start painting? Drawing. I started drawing when I was small. I believe uh, that's a gift for God. It is. Yes. As I was just making the joke that I can't even draw a simple smiley face. And, and look at the kind of stuff that you're doing. <laughs> How would you categorize your type of um, style? I know uh, Rima told us that it was he, he did a, a little bit of realism and abstract. I think I think I'm learning. Is this is this a little bit of realism here? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> for, for us, for us here, uh, Rima, myself, and we we not really a uh, particular to certain style. Right. We do both abstract, we do realism, we do so many art. We not taking a, a particular style like all right. maybe abstract, just abstract. Right. So, so you're example, fluid. We, you yeah. can do anything. Yeah. Versatile. Some graphic art. So, what is the story behind this painting when you did it? This, uh, this, uh, this, this, uh, my school was about to open. We found some children in red, and we look, we look, we look at our society right now. This, this was done for, for, for our African center, for the Liberia. The school was about to open, I'm just trying to portray, see what I can figure out. The school was the sister, I mean, the sister and the brother, the school. But all the grown ass. That not, that, not that developed? That. <laughs> so you didn't see that. Yeah. So I'm here with Cyrus Cooper. Cyrus Cooper, but I know him as Cooper Arts. Yeah. I found you on, I think it was LIB Positive Vibes. Found you on their page one day and started following you and fell in love with your artwork. And we traveled today to come and see where you do your work, where the magic happens, and it was worth the drive. Because as soon as I came in the yard, 
I am just bombarded with beautiful, beautiful, beautiful portraits. Thank you. It's inborn. I started from my mother room. I twist and turn and kick into outside. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at the, basically, from childhood, I started drawing on the ground, putting sticks and pieces together. And all credit to my mom. My dad just said, I dirty hair guy. It's not easy. First, one of the major challenges is people in Liberia just like it, but they don't love it. Being that, you say, Oh, I like it. You can draw. But I love to go to that extra mile to support. The support is not exactly. there. Exactly. The first challenge is scarcity of material. Mm -hmm. To get an adequate and a good material, we have to order it from the States, Ghana, or Nigeria. There's no material in Liberia. When the Lebanese and the Indian guy bring it, just this one is 50 US dollars. Wow. 50 US dollars. This little one, 10 dollars, 18 dollars, 20 dollars. And, and what, what breaks me down is that after spending all of my money and all my resources on Aventura, someone will look at this thing and say, I'm going to pay 30 US dollars. Come on. 20 US dollars. What would you consider your style of painting? I know there's abstract, there's realism. Are you just a mix of everything? Or are you just, you know? I'm going to say I'm a semi realist, semi abstract. I try to I mean, express. I'm a, I try to express myself through colors. Mm -hmm. I love colors because colors is the like, color is life, and, yeah. and color is light. But where there's light, there's hope. So I started this one first. I put. I started the base. I said, no, like, I'm not seeing what I want. I, I applied the next color. So I'm not seeing it because the color is the eye. And when they try, they try the eye, they try the mind, and when they try the mind, take you off your problem, like I said earlier. Right. So I'm a semi really I love Africa, basically, to take people mind off their problem. Right. What would your advice be to upcoming artists in Liberia or anywhere in the world, just young people who want to follow this passion? My advice to them is to, if you love art, everybody, everybody is a boss of artists. It takes hard work. It's not easy to be an artist. Let me break it down to Liberia. Yeah. Because the first thing, the material is expensive. Right. To buy the work is very difficult, but you have to put your all in all. You can, I cannot copy from you, you cannot copy from me. Be yourself. Okay. My advice is to be yourself, work hard, work, work, work. And at the end of the day, there will be results. That's great advice. So, you guys. Let's talk to the viewers, let's be real. We all know, uh, growing up in Liberian homes, the, the, the occupations are lawyer, doctor, engineer, something like that, right? Yeah. It's hard to be a creative in any African culture, especially in Liberia, right? So tell us, I wanna hear from both of you, tell us what you find uh, to be a struggle as a Liberian artist, uh, whether it be you know getting work or you know getting your work out there, what are the struggles that Liberian artists face? Um, there are many, all right? Uh, one of the very first things, but sometimes, sometimes like, it's simple, but it's very serious. Sometimes people ask it like, um, what do you do? You say I'm an artist. You mean like a musician? And I'll be like, no. I'm a printer. I said like, but you paint how? <laughs> are you serious then? <laughs> okay, all right now. I can become a draw and then I paint. That's still happening to um, people that are not stay getting that control. Right. Right. That's another thing. It's very, 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 very good. And firstly, I just want to thank all thank you for our talent. Yeah. So, what I'm getting here is it's just hard to have people respecting all our talent. So, some people, if you go around there, like, some parents, I guess, because there are so many kids that come around here and they say, they come here, oh, my parents tell me, oh, artists are beautiful, artists, the way you get all the artists that do. For us, I'm very proud to be an artist. Yeah. And we're proud to have you all here because how do you capture, you know, the beauty of a place yeah. through art? So what would be your advice to young artists in Liberia, in, in the States, all over the world? What would be your, your one piece of advice to them? Mine is to tell them, work together, please stop the photocopying. 
work, they don't feel satisfied, that is a very big fee. But some, some of them feel they are, as you work day by day, you learn new style, you learn new moves. So it's not just easy to feel free to sit down and feel like you're the best. Right. You know, the more you work, the more, the more ability, the more talent. It's a continuous thing. Yeah. It's like learning anything. Yeah, sure. You never stop learning. Now it's like, I can say, like six months ago, I've been having two now. Right. You have to keep working at yeah. your craft. The more you work, the more you work. I'm gonna ask him about some prices. I wanna put some of this stuff up in my house. I hope you enjoy this episode of Philomena.com. I'm on my way back home and I'm reflecting on all the beautiful art that I saw today and the great people I had a chance to talk with. And I implore all Liberians, all of you who watch this blog, to share this message, share this beautiful art, and support our Liberian artists. It starts with us, it starts with our community. If we believe in our artists, then the world will. Hope you guys tune in for the next episode of Philomena.com. Thanks for joining me.